critics and cheerleaders. You are extraordinary role models for our undergraduate and graduate students who look to you as experts in their field and aspire to your success. Everyone here today understands the fundamental role that postdoctoral scholars play in expanding research and enhancing the institutional profile of the university, both nationally and globally. It is often the postdocs who are at the leading edge of discoveries, conceptualization and development of advanced techniques. Although you are often in the background doing the vital work that drives the engines of research and teaching on our campus, today we shine the spotlight on your myriad contributions and profound impact. Today, we celebrate and honor your hard work and dedication. In turn, like our postdoctoral scholars, our faculty mentors play a crucial role in fulfilling UCLA's purpose as a globally recognized research university that creates, disseminates, preserves, and applies knowledge for the betterment of our global society. Faculty mentors, we want to recognize how often you go above and beyond to ensure that our postdoctoral scholars enjoy a successful experience at UCLA. Your encouragement and guidance allow us as an institution to deliver on the promise of a postdoc experience that is rich and rewarding. Faculty, we celebrate you, your mentorship, and your contributions to our community. I would also like to acknowledge that today's event and the awards have been made possible by many campus sponsors. In addition to the graduate division, they include the following. Ronald Brookmeyer, Dean, Fielding School of Public Health. Christina Christie, Dean, School of Education and Information Studies. Stephen Dubinet, Interim Dean, David Geffen School of Medicine. Bruce Dunn, Interim Dean, Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science. Miguel Garcia Garabay, Dean, Division of Physical Sciences. Tracy Johnson, Dean, Division of Life Sciences. Paul Krebsbach, Dean, School of Dentistry. Abel Venezuela, Interim Dean, Division of Social Sciences. Roger Makimoto, Vice Chancellor for Research and Creative Activities. And last but not least, our gracious host, the California Nanosystems Institute. Please join me in thanking them for supporting postdoctoral scholarship at UCLA. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize the Division of Graduate Education staff who work with postdoctoral scholars, who have coordinated these awards, or who have helped with this event. In alphabetical order by last name, Sandra Alvarez, Pete Clues, Ivy Ibuen, Francesca Gacho, Eli Levy, Renate Lux, Paris McDonald, Kristen McKinney, Scott Olson, Vanya Sholini, Chris Sosa, and Daniel Wong. <laughs> and finally, I would like to acknowledge our mentor award partners in the Postdoctoral Association at UCLA, whom you'll meet later, Valeria Gonzalez and Martin Toderi. I'll be introducing them later. <laughs> so it is now my great honor and pleasure to introduce Roger Wakimoto, Vice Chancellor for Research at UCLA. Roger began his tenure as the Vice Chancellor for Research at UCLA in July 2017. He is an accomplished atmospheric scientist specializing in research on mesoscale meteorology particularly severe convective storms and radar meteorology. In 2017, he returned to UCLA's Department of Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences faculty, having previously served as a faculty member from 1983 through 2005 and as its chair from 1996 to 2000. After his initial tenure at UCLA, he served as the National Center for Atmospheric Research Director from 2005 through 2010 and subsequently as director of NCAR from 2010 through 2013. Vice Chancellor Wakimoto was also assistant director of the National Science Foundation Directorate for Geosciences from 2013 through 2017, where he led a division that supported the atmospheric, geospace, polar, earth, and ocean sciences with a $1.3 billion annual budget. He served as president of the American Meteorological Society from 2017 through 2019. 
Vice Chancellor Wakimoto received his BS with honors and great distinction in meteorology from San Jose State University and his PhD in geophysical sciences from the University of Chicago. He previously held a professorship at UCLA and the University of Colorado at Boulder. Please join me in a warm welcome for Vice Chancellor Roger Wakimoto. Well, thank you very much, Susan, for that uh, kind uh, welcome introduction. So there are two things that I wanted to say at the beginning that I'm really excited about being here. I always enjoy a celebration. Uh, but even beyond that, uh, it's so nice to see people face to face. <laughs> I mean, this celebration with boxes around people's head would have just not been the same. I can tolerate the mass, but I like, this, uh, I like the fact that we're all here together and almost taking all the seats. Uh, so it's really just an enormous honor to be here to celebrate our postdoctoral fellows. I will tell you the honest truth. I never was a postdoctoral fellow. It is something that, in retrospect, I sort of uh, regret because just getting thrown into a faculty position, and the faculty position was here at UCLA. And so even though it was a bit of a difficult decision, I never regretted it. I've, I've loved all the time I was here. But I missed that couple-year period, which I think I could have learned some things that would have made... Um, the road uh, later on a little smoother. So you, you are very uh, good hands in terms of the career path you're following and, and uh, don't use me as an illustrative example how not to do it. Uh, and I also wanna say something about postdoctoral skills because I've seen them so many at so many different institutions and organizations from universities, also the research institute that um, Susan mentioned at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. Sometimes you get lost in the shuffle. The, uh, in some cases, it's the scientists or faculty that you feel like are the most important people. And then, you know, the students. People always care about the students. And so you sort of sometimes fall through that gap. And, and I understand that you see, gee, people don't really recognize what we're really accomplishing and what we're really doing to, to really make the institution better. Um, so I can assure you, though, that everyone in this room, and certainly I, greatly appreciate all of your contributions uh, to research. Uh, you're independent thinkers. You produce research at a seminal. You collaborate with other scholars. And so just your presence makes UCLA just a better place. Uh, I also wanted to take just a moment or two to uh, identify the mentors and, and really celebrate what they do. Uh, I can tell you uh, for a fact that mentors have played a big role uh, in my career development, uh, sometimes taking, literally taking me aside to tell me what I was doing wrong, uh, kindly, uh, and where they thought my career path uh, should go. Because I'll be honest, when I was an undergraduate student, I, I had no dream of going to graduate school. I mean, absolutely zero. I was gonna get my bachelor's degree and just start working. And who choos uh, chose, uh, got my mind to, to think differently was, was really mentors that said that, uh, they said it pretty much in black and white that they thought I'd be wasting my career if I just decided to get a job after a bachelor's school. And so look where I am now. If I, I, I'm sure some of those people would be horrified where I am right now. <laughs> but but, uh, but uh, it wasn't, it, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of them. Uh, so I want to make sure that they understand it. I will also tell you that mentoring is so important that right now I'm, I'm working very closely with the Association for Public and Land Grant Universities, APLU, that's a membership of about over 200 universities, and because I'm chair of the Council on Research for those u universities, that uh, I'm actually right now in the process of establishing a mentoring program for senior research officers like me, because I feel it's so important. And those universities run the spectrum from small universities to large universities. So I've said I don't want this restricted, it could be R1 university to R1 mentors. It could be R2 university mentors to R2, or cross R1 to R2. So surprisingly, when I suggested, there was just enormous excitement that even in us at a very senior level to admit that, yeah, sometimes I'd like to be able to call somebody for advice and for someone to tell me where my career path should go. So mentoring never ends. So you're at the beginning of the mentoring program. Don't stop. You might even be able to end mentor me when I do something wrong. So I congratulate you all. Um, I'm looking forward to everybody's name being uh, recognized. And uh, please don't hesitate to call me. I'd really like to know where your career goes uh, in the future. So thanks again. Thank you so much, Roger. Um, 
It's funny that uh, I did not realize that you had never been a postdoc. I've also never been a postdoc because my PhD is actually in economics, and when and I'm also very old. And so when I went through um, an econ program, people didn't really do postdocs. So, um, but I think it's a it's a wonderful model, um, and I also loved Roger's comments about. Um, about mentors because like Roger, my entire uh, life trajectory was changed by my undergraduate mentor because I wasn't even planning to, uh, to get my undergraduate degree and go work. I was actually engaged at 20 and I was planning to, uh, to uh, have children stay home. And my mentor said, you know, you should really think about going to grad school instead. <laughs> so here I am. So um, it is definitely proof. I think so many people in this room are probably proof that one good mentor can absolutely change somebody's, not just somebody's career, but somebody's entire life. So, um, so just know how incredibly important all of you are. Um, so anyway, so back to the official program. Um, so each year, this event allows us to publicly recognize the remarkable contributions that our postdoctoral scholars make to the intellectual life of UCLA and celebrate their discoveries and the impact they're having on the world. There are currently about 1,200 postdoctoral fellows on campus. The 26 nominees we honor today represent a tiny fraction of that total. So at this time, I would like to welcome Dr. Daniel Wong, who's our Acting Assistant Dean for Academic and Postdoctoral Services and our current Assistant Dean for our new Graduate and Postdoctoral Success Unit um, in the Division of Graduate Education. So Daniel will first announce the names of the nominees for the Chancellor's Award for Postdoctoral Research, while Vice Chancellor Wakimoto joins me in congratulating each of them. And then Daniel is going to announce the winners of this year's postdoctoral awards, who will be invited to come forward and make some brief remarks. So, thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Dean Etner. Uh, I have the fun part. So uh, as I call your name and department, nominees, please come to the stage, receive your certificate to my left or right, and face the audience for a photo with Dean Susan Etner and Vice Chancellor Roger Wakimoto before returning to your seat. So as you proceed to the front, please have a photo first uh, before returning to your seat. All right, so our first nominee is Evan Abt from Molecular and Medical Pharmacology. Our next nominee is Siddharth Agarwal from Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. <laughs> next, Elisa Bake from Psychology. Next, Lorenzo Boninsegna, Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics. <laughs> Next, Xiangyang Chen, Chemistry and Biochemistry. Next is Gregory Gedman, Integrative Biology and Physiology. <laughs> Next, Sung Ming Ha, Integrative Biology and Physiology.
Next, Eleanor Hayes Larson, Epidemiology. That's not. Next, uh, Yao He, Chemistry and Biochemistry. Next, Mang Hua, Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences. <laughs> Next, Wei Cheng Hung, Civil, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Next, Nazim Kardugli, Neurology. <laughs> Next is Anne Legoff, Institute of Society and Genetics. Next is Lei Xin Ma, Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. <laughs> Next is Yu Miao, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Next is Erez McKaylee, Physics and Astronomy. <laughs> Next, Stephen Nieto, Psychology. Next is Harry Pickering, Pathology and Laboratory Medicine. <laughs> Next, Chi Qian, Chemistry and Biochemistry. <laughs> Next, Guido Roberts Borsani, Physics and Astronomy. <laughs> Next, Farid Salazar Wong, Physics and Astronomy. <laughs> Next is Aviv Solodok. Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences. <laughs> Next, Yang Song, Bioengineering. Next, Wenxin Song, Medicine. <laughs> Next is Manisha Swain, Chemistry and Biochemistry. <laughs> Next is Daniel Velez Ramirez, Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics.
Our final nominee, Xian Xia, Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics. Once again, congratulations to all of our postdoc award nominees. We will now present the winners of this year's award. This year, the committee has selected eight scholars to receive the Chancellor's Award for Postdoctoral Research, which consists of a lovely plaque and a $7,500 prize. In selecting the awardees, the Faculty and Academic Administrators Committee considered each nominee's innovation and creativity, distinction, scholarly productivity, leadership, and the impact of the nominee's discoveries. On behalf of the committee, I can tell you that it was fascinating and exciting for them to learn about your work, and that it was challenging to make the selection. You are all highly valued members of our UCLA community. Now for the recipients of the Chancellor's Award for Postdoctoral Scholars, awardees, as I call your name and department, please come to the stage, receive your plaque, and face the audience for a photo with Dean Etner and Vice Chancellor Wakimoto before coming to the podium to make your remarks. Our first winner is Yao He, Chemistry and Biochemistry. Yeah, thank you. I didn't expect I'm the first one because my name is start with the H. <laughs> <laughs> but um, thank you very much. I will first thank my uh, mentor, Professor Julie Fagan and Professor Hongzhou, who recruit me to UCLA and support my research. And I couldn't achieve this uh, without their support. And also, I need to say, um, Professor Julie Fagan also nominated for the mentor award this year. Um, the second, I would thank my colleagues and, uh, and uh, um, collaborators in both labs, especially for the telomerase group. And the last, not the least, uh, I would like to thank my wife, Xiaoying. Uh, she's a sunshine through, uh, shining through my life and helped me through the, uh, and his uh, kindness and uh, patience just helped me uh, going through all my life and also the especially for the pandemic. Okay, thank you very much. I love you. Our next winner, not in alphabetical order, is Alyssa Bake. Um, thank you so much for this award. It's such an honor to receive it, and I think um, especially special at this time as I have just about a month left as a postdoc here at UCLA. Um, so thank you so much. And my research focuses on social connection and how important it is to the well-being of individuals. And as I wrap up my time here at UCLA, I can't help but think and reflect on the social connections that I've made here and the social support that I received. Um, first and foremost, I would like to thank my primary advisor, Carolyn Parkinson, who has been so generous with her time and her support and um, in ensuring that I was set up for success at every decision point as a postdoc. So thank you so much, Carolyn. Um, I'd like to also thank my other mentors, Mason Porter and Matt Lieberman, as well as other um, members in the psychology department, Annette Stanton, the chair of the department for your ongoing support throughout the years. 
Um, I think being a postdoc can sometimes be an isolating and lonely experience, so I'd really like to thank my um, lab members and the Computational Social Neuroscience Lab for making my journey a lot less lonely. Um, thank you for your friendship. And lastly, I'd like to thank my family um, who have been relentlessly supportive in my journey. Um, so thank you so much for um, all of their support as well. Our next winner, Shanyang Chen, Chemistry and Biochemistry. Okay, good afternoon. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. So I'm greatly honored to be here and to be received the award. And I'm so excited to stand here on this stage. Uh, in fact, I have been in this room for many times. Usually, I will sit back to see the outstanding on the stage. I still couldn't believe that today I'm here. But I know that I'm fully aware that I couldn't have done this um, on my own. So here, um, please uh, allow me to send my uh, gratitude to my great mentor, Professor King Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> so I know words can't express my uh, appreciation. Thanks um, a lot for your uh, wonderful supervision and support to my research and my life. And it's really uh, my great honor to be a hockey and working with you um, pushing the frontiers of science. Thank you. And uh, I also need to thank my family and uh, my friends. Thanks always being there with me. And uh, thanks all of you to be here. I will never forget this moment. Thank you. Our next awardee is Xian Xia. Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for being here today. I'm deeply pleased and honored to receive the award. First of all, I'd like to thank the uh, division of the uh, graduates from UCI and also the selection committee for this opportunity. Uh, as a structural biologist, I have been using cloud electron microscope to uh, resolve the structure of disease-related proteins, including membrane protein, virus, and also eukaryotic pathogens. I deeply, uh, I truly I enjoy uh, working here in such a nice place as UCLA to uh, do the wonderful research. Uh, this award is a result of effort from many people. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the Department of uh, Department of Microbiology, Immunology, and uh, Molecular uh, Genetics, especially the department chair, Dr. Jerry Zack. And I would like to give my greatest thanks to my mentor, Professor Hongzhou, who is sitting here. Thank you. He, he is really a nice uh, mentor. He gave me fully support in my research. He is my uh, role model and have inspired me a lot during my academic career. Uh, I would like to thank my collaborator, Professor Hong, uh, Ken Hill and Professor Polly Roy, and also all the lab members have uh, worked together with me. Finally, I would like to thank my family uh, for all the supportive. Uh, thank you. Our next awardee is Lorenzo Boninsegna, Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics.
Thank you, everybody. Uh, I'm very honored to have received this award. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to congratulate the other fellow awardees for their accomplishments. Um, it's a very rewarding experience to be part of the UCLA community, and that really comes with a sense of belonging. Uh, this honor is a, is a great moral boost, uh, and, it pursue, it, and encourages even more to pursue uh, academic research in the field of bio, uh, computational biophysics as far as genome uh, structure modeling prediction. Uh, this award, of course, is not just uh, my own accomplishment. Uh, a lot of people have been there helping me uh, along the way. Um, of course, I would like to thank the selection committee for deeming my work uh, worthwhile of this award. Um, and also the department chair of the department for uh, signing off on my uh, candidacy and supporting my candidacy. And of course, last but not least, my uh, PI, Dr. Frank Albert, for uh, being extremely supportive and encouraging me, uh, both on a professional and human uh, emotional level. And finally, uh, big hats off to my wife, Chiara. Uh, I could not have pulled off the last few years had she not been around. So thanks a lot to everybody. Our next awardee is Man Hua, Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences. Just in case um, I'll be nervous, I prepare a note. So uh, thank you so much. I'm extremely humbled to be here with so many incredible students, postdoc mentors, and scientists. And I'm extremely uh, honored and happy to receive this award. I want to thank a lot of people. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the selection committee. Your recognition of my work means a lot to me. And I thank the graduate divisions, organizers, sponsors of this event. And also a big thank you to our department chair, Susan Paulson. And I want to thank everyone who supported me and guided me throughout my life. And without them, I will not be able to be here. First and foremost, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to my postdoc mentor, Professor Jacob Bortnick. Unfortunately, he's on travel for a conference in Finland now. And he always shares his inspiring thoughts and ideas and always encourage me when it comes to difficulties in my studies. I'm so grateful to have such an amazing mentor. And uh, I also want to thank my PhD advisor, Professor Bingbing Ni at Wuhan University, and also my advisor at Boston University when I was a visiting student. And uh, both, of the, uh, both of them are also UCLA alumni. Thanks to their help and support, I'm able to chase my dream in space science here at UCLA. And also, I want to thank all my collaborators, each members in our lab, in our research group, and everyone in our department. And finally, I want to thank my parents for their unconditional support and love all the time. So thank you all. Thank you. Our next awardee is Guido Roberts Borsani, Physics and Astronomy. I'd first like to thank everybody who has made this award possible and thought that my research was deserving of it. Uh, three years ago, I, I moved to UCLA and I had uh, some, some semblance of an idea of what the next three years were going to look like. I was going to wake up, go surfing, go to UCLA, <laughs> work with the best of the best, and use a shiny new telescope to make uh, some of the biggest discoveries of my career. And, you know, in short, an experience of a lifetime. Fast forward three months and I got an experience of a lifetime, but it wasn't quite what I expected in a global pandemic. Uh, but uh, this is not a, a pandemic story, this is a redemption story. 
and uh, much like the research that has contributed to, to this award, uh, this is not a one-man show. So there are a few people that I'd like to thank. Uh, the first, foremost, is uh, my mentor, Tommaso Treu, over here. Uh, thank you so much for all the opportunities that you've given me, the help, uh, the mentoring, and during the toughest of times as well, just the human side uh, and the sense of humor as well, which you know brought light at the, the end of the tunnel. In short, you've given me that experience of a lifetime, so thank you. Um, I would also like to uh, thank Matt Malkin over here, Alice Shapley, uh, Adriano Fontana, and Richard Ellis, uh, who cannot be here today, but all of whom have supported my career uh, up until now and made me feel so welcome and made the experience at UCLA what it is. Uh, and then last but not least, I would also like to thank my family, of course, uh, who have supported me from afar uh, since a little boy, not just now. Uh, so thank you to them uh, for their love and support. And to my uh, family away from home, my friends over here on the west side, who have made my experience in Los Angeles uh, the phenomenal experience that it has been. So thank you. Uh, now our final awardee of the afternoon uh, is Yu Miao, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Thanks, uh, thanks everyone. It's my extreme honor to receive this prestigious award, and uh, I earnestly uh, grateful for all the support and help I have that brought me standing here. But first of all, I would like to thank God uh, for teaching me to be a strong and uh, humble person in my life. And uh, to my loving wife, Lucy, who is also the alumna from Statistics Department of UCLA, as well as my uh, parents who are watching online. Uh, thanks for uh, so many years, love, encouragement, and patience uh, for me. And also I would like to thank UCLA not only for uh, giving me my beautiful and uh, wise wife, <laughs> but also for the endless uh, research and the teaching uh, resources. Uh, I'm great. I'm good fortune to uh, have my professional training from a PhD student to a postdoc here with so many smart uh, lab mates, colleagues, and uh, collaborators within my home department, civil and environmental engineering, uh, as well as the entire UCLA community. And I want to specially mention uh, Professor Shelly Mahendra, uh, who is my mentor throughout my stay here Shelly is a pure and a great advocate for her students and the postdoc. She provides me the best with the endless uh, academic uh, resources, opportunities, networks, without any hesitation or reservation, even during the hard time for her cancer treatment and the pandemic. So Shelly is a real role model for me, and uh, thank you, Shelly, for making me who I am today. So at last, uh, I will start my new chapter in Northeastern University soon, but I am a Bruins forever. Mm -hmm. So thank you and uh, go Bruins. Congratulations uh, to all of our postdoctoral scholar awardees. It is now my pleasure to welcome back Dean Etner for the introduction of our next presenters. Thank you, Daniel. So again, congratulations to all of our postdoctoral scholar awardees and also um, to the nominees. You are truly all the best and the brightest. And as I say to my children, I am so proud of you, but more importantly, I really hope that you're proud of yourselves because you really all earned it and you deserve it. So um, we are honored that you chose UCLA for this phase of your training. So I am now delighted to move on to the part of the ceremony that honors the faculty who devote their time and energy to helping our postdocs achieve their enormous potential. 
Ten years ago, the UCLA Society of Postdoctoral Scholars created a new award that honors our faculty for their outstanding mentoring of postdoctoral scholars. Today, the Postdoctoral Association at UCLA continues that tradition. I am very pleased to introduce Valeria Gonzalez and Martin Tadari, who will introduce and present the awards for outstanding postdoctoral mentors. Valeria is a postdoctoral scholar in psychology and chair of the Postdoctoral Association at UCLA. Martin is a postdoctoral scholar in physics and vice chair of international affairs of the Postdoctoral Association at UCLA. Valeria, please come up to the podium. Can you see me? Can the show working here? Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today to honor the postdoctoral community and the faculty member who mentor us. As the Edner mentioned, this marks the 10 year the UCLA Excellence in Postdoctoral Mentorship Award are being presented. This award gives postdocs a chance to recognize and thank the faculty who have changed their lives, the faculty who have helped them launch careers. Mentoring, informal or formal, is a fundamental part of academia and an essential role the faculty are responsible for. That is, forming the new generation of independent scientists and scholars. As a postdoc, I just recently started to understand how difficult it is to be a good mentor. Most times we do not get formal training on this, even though it's perhaps one of the most crucial and probably one of the most rewarding roles that we can have. UCLA is filled with good mentors, but some of them have taken extra steps to be extraordinary or as the title of this award, Excellent in Postdoctoral Mentorship. Because an excellent mentor understands that they will teach, guide, and support their postdocs, but also make them feel seen and heard, understanding that each of us navigate different challenges and have different dreams. This year, we received 22 postdoctoral nominations for 22 mentor nominees. It is always extremely difficult for the selection committee to decide who should receive the awards. I can assure you that if you're here today, it's because you were nominated, you have changed the life of your postdocs. I want to highlight the range of departments and faculty we have in the room right now. Faculty members from different origins at different career stages, which reflects UCLA values to increase diversity, equity, and inclusion. As an immigrant woman of color, I understand very well how important it is to count on mentors that are allies in our journey, that wants to see you thrive without compromising your identity. So thank you to all of you for your commitment, for supporting your postdocs, for understanding that a postdoc is not just a trainee, but a younger colleague. And to my dear postdocs in the room, remember that mentorship is a two-way street. We are also responsible for cultivating and evolving our relationship. Remember that you're probably a mentor to someone else, so give back and try your best to be an excellent mentor. And in the spirit of that, I also want to remind everyone in the room that on Monday 14, the postdoc together with other trainees will start a strike to get better working conditions. <laughs> so if you support your postdocs in here, please sign a letter and show your support to us too. Going back, before I introduce this year's nominees and award this, Martine and I would like to thank our comi selection committee members who are also postdoctoral scholars. Amelia Polerno, Molecular and Medical Pharmacology, Tanya Gupta, which are all in the corner over there, Psychiatry, Pamela Matter, Medicine, and Franz Frankie Staples, Atmospheric and Oceanic Science. Now we'll introduce our nominees in alphabetical order while Martin goes to the stage to hand out the certificate. As I call your name, please come up to the stage to receive your certificate and pose for a picture with Martin. First, Ajijola Alujimi, Medicine and Cardiology. Next, Dolores Bosovic from Physics. Hey. 
Laura Donardo, Physiology. Sophie Dong, Ophthalmology. Julie Fagon, Biochemistry. Sonia Gabrielian, Psychiatry. <laughs> Payman Gulshani, Neurology. I invite to stage Aphrodite Davis, who will receive the award instead of Dr. Thomas Graver. <laughs> Alicia Izquierdo, Psychology. Richard Kainer, Biochemistry. <laughs> Travis Longcourt, Institute of the Environment and Sustainability. <laughs> Catherine Lohr, Psychiatry and Education. Aldon Slusis, Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics. <laughs> Shali Mahendra, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Elizabeth Rose Mayeda, Epidemiology. <laughs> Sanjay Mohanty, Civil and Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Caius Radu, Molecular and Medical Pharmacology. Roxana Radu, Ophthalmology. <laughs> Mitchell Spearing, Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Mark Sutcher, Human Genetics. <laughs> Kate Wassum, Psychology. <laughs> Finally, David Williams, Ophthalmology.
I will now announce the awardees. As I call your name, we would like both the professor awardee and the postdoc nominator, if you're here, to please come up to the stage. Dolores Bosovic, nominated by Joseph Marcinic and Justin Faber. Alicia Izquierdo, nominated by Tony Ye and Claudia Guerra. <laughs> and last, Aldons Lucis, nominated by Jan Cao and Marcus Salvin. Congratulations to our mentors. Congratulations again to, uh, to all of the faculty members who, um, who were nominated and who won awards. So um, the graduate division really loves you. We need more people like you in, on the faculty. So, um, so we are deeply grateful for everything that you do for our postdocs. Um, so, and thank you everyone for joining us here this afternoon to honor our postdoctoral community. Um, I'd like to ask the awardees to remain in the auditorium and come up to the stage to, for some group photos. Uh, please bring your certificates and awards. And for all others, please make your way to the lobby area for a celebratory reception upstairs on the fifth floor patio, right? Because of the because of possibility of rain, we're going to the fifth floor and not the sixth floor today. So um, have a great time. Hope to see you all up there. And again, if the awardees could stay here for some group photos, that would be terrific. Thank you so much again, everybody. It was great to see you all. Have a great rest of your day.